Okay, here's just a very quick uh, introduction of how you insert virtual instruments in Digital Performer. There are actually quite a few different ways, as in most EOWs are doing this, but I'll show you probably two of the, the easiest ways of doing it. First off is you just go to your project and you go to Add Track. And the easiest option is to select instruments with options. So if you select that button, it brings up this dialog box. Here, you select how many instruments you want to add. So we're just going to add one here. And then from this drop down, you select uh, the synth or virtual instrument that you want to use. So let's put that there. And then how many MIDI tracks you want for each instrument. And given that this is just going, we're just going to have one instance of this, um, we just add one and then we click OK. And we should have our MIDI track and our associated instrument track record enabled, ready to go. <laughs> It's a little bit convoluted, as you can see. You have here, I guess, like you might have in the studio, you actually have a, a piece of rack gear, and then you actually route your synth um, keyboard or MIDI input to the instrument. So that's one way of doing it. The other way which uh, you can do this, let's just undo that, is if you go again to the same um, project menu, go to add track. If you just go with instrument track, you can find your instrument here. So let's again, let's add the same synth there's my synth but there is no associated midi track with it we can then add in a midi track um, and there's our midi track all we have to do then is go into our midi track and find the output of it um, so that is here and as you'll see now on the output denoted by the little oh it's a little bit hard to see there is if you select that you can then route it to a midi channel inside the uh, virtual instrument so there you go if you have only used the track window so far, you'll see that it kind of replicates what's um, on the sequence window. I'll just let's just delete these two again. Go to project, add instrument track. I'll do it the the more convoluted way. So I'm going to add my um, synth, whichever one I added just there. There's the synth. Again, nothing. There's no MIDI input to it at the moment, so I need to create a MIDI track. So I can go here and create a MIDI track. There is my MIDI track and all I have to do now is set the output to the synthesizer and then if I hit record I can record. And there is my MIDI data associated um, with that track. I could then Obviously, if I put some other instruments on there, I could route those to, to other instruments as well. If you need to add effects to this synth, let's just turn the portamento down, that's a bit extreme. If we go to the mixing board, we'll see that we have the synth track here. There is my uh, synth, let me just pull that over a little bit. And underneath there, if I click on there, I could then go in and add, I don't know, um, a reverb for because you wouldn't do this in reality but uh, there you go I've added a reverb on the channel So I guess in some regards a little bit more convoluted than you might find in other DAWs, but it gives you the flexibility of maybe being able to route other tracks to your uh, synth at some point. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, stay safe out there. <laughs>